It would take a while to get across, and there's nowhere to shelter from arrows. A bridge. That'll make it easier to cross the earthworks. There's open ground on both sides of it, but it's the fastest route for an attack. We could launch a sneak attack from here. We could get all the way to the camp unobserved this way. Our attack would catch them by surprise, but then we'd run straight into the middle of the Cumans. They can see a long way from that steeple, and those archers up there, definitely going to be a problem. Yeah. God bless you. What troubles you? Sir, I've been to Ujits, and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. He's very handy with a sword. Do you know anything about him, sir? Godwin? Aye, an intriguing fellow. He's the youngest son of one of the lords of Kuttenberg. He was sent to the university to become a priest, as is customary with the youngest son. But he didn't much care for it. So when he finished studying, instead of taking up his parish, he went roaming. I imagine he had a pretty adventurous life. And then one day he came back and settled down. Hanush would know more about him. Back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? There's an overgrown ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Pribislavitz. He used to belong to Sir Divish before Havel Medic attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned Divish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organized. Earthworks and fortifications. That's quite a different matter from writing some rabble out of the woods tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else, and I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defense. There's quite a few of them there. Perdition. We'll definitely need reinforcements. I think the Talmberg men should suffice. I don't like leaving the castle unprotected, but there's no other option. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them, but underestimating the enemy can be fatal. I took a look at their arms and armour. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? There's a few of them, and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? No, sir. Never mind. You did a good job anyway, and you deserve a reward. But now we must get ready to set out as soon as possible and put an end to them. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Talmberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell him to take all his men. Leave only the bare minimum at the castle and march to Pribislavitz. 
I'll take everyone but for one or two sentries. Hopefully together we'll have enough men to defeat them. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to spare. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzig wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands. More like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzig wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzik is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzik said to take all your men and leave only a minimum guard at the castle. What? Everyone? There really are a lot of them, Sir Divish. He's leaving the camp almost empty, too. We're to go and join his people in Pribislavitz and mount an assault together. All right, then. Sir Radzik knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you lead my men there right now? Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. Radzik. I'm glad to see you, Captain Robard. I hope Henry's explained everything to you. He did, but I find it hard to believe. Who could possibly put together such a significant military force? Who's it? 